it's my enormous pleasure to have with us here today Professor Jacques Rancière, uh, who has been extremely generous to fit us into his extremely busy schedule. And I know he's just come back from the United States. He's going to embark on another lecturing trip um, in a couple of days. And um, um, so it's with extreme and great gratitude that I welcome him today with us here. I'm not going to be saying very much about Concierge because I know um, all of us have done our homework. We know um, the, the enormous contribution that he has given, not just to philosophy, but also to theory of art and film. And uh, it's in particular to discuss a little bit of his, um, his approach to cinema that we have invited him for this chat here now and then a lecture later on. So uh, I will not introduce Professor Francia as yet, I'm keeping this for later on today, but perhaps uh, my colleagues here could introduce themselves briefly to him because this is also a very important moment for us. We are launching the Center for Film Aesthetics and Culture, cultures, and um, those are some of the colleagues who are going to be joining us in the, in the work of this centre. So, if we could perhaps start yes, with Lisa here. Yes, I'm Lisa Perth, I'm a, an associate professor in the film here. Um, I work on digital aesthetics um, and uh, the politics of representation in, in contemporary um, US cinema on the mo for the most part. I'm John Gibbs, I'm head of the Department of Film, Theatre and Television. And I'm also an associate professor in film. Um, I'm interested in particularly style-based criticism and extending the traditions of style-based criticism into new areas and to new subjects, new methods. Um, and we're also very interested here in, in the department in the interaction of practice with critical and theoretical approaches. And, and the movement between a practitioner discourse and a critical discourse is one of the areas I'm interested in too. I'm Anna McMillan. Um, I'm a professor of theatre in the department. I work mainly on Beckett, um, mainly on the theatre, but I also have written on his television plays and his film. I'm Jonathan Bignall. I'm a professor of television and film here in this department. Uh, I mostly work on the archival study of the history of television, especially television fiction. And I was being from the Department of Politics and International Relations. I'm interested in the um, representation of war and violence in cinema. Uh, my name is Peter Miskell. Uh, I'm an associate professor of business history from the business school, uh, and I have a particular interest in the history of the uh, of the film industry. Um, I'm Alison Butler. I'm an associate professor in film in this department, and I'm interested in uh, artists' film and women's cinema and I'm, not, I'm an editor of the journal Screen. Okay, thank you very much. Um, what we agreed to do today was that I would throw some um, suggestions for discussion based on various concepts and theories that you have developed along your career and then open up for a more relaxed kind of um, casual Q&A. Uh, and discussion. So um, if I could get started by approaching your concept of um, aesthesis or aesthetics um, that you have uh, developed in your, what I believe to be the book that you've launched just before your film criticism that has just uh, your literature criticism that has just come out. I think just before that it was aesthesis. And um, um, you develop in that book the theory that aesthetics is historically located, originating in the end of the uh, 18th century. Um, and it's uh, uh, to that extent different from art, uh, being a, a kind of a mode of experiencing art or um, of a sensible experience of art. Now, how would aesthetics in this sense differ from our usual conceptions of modernity, uh, of, um, of taking a distance, of uh, self-reflexivity that is usually understood as characteristics of the modern time? 
Well, it's a huge problem. Uh, well, uh, let us start from the well, well, let us start from, from the beginning. You know, no, no there is no beginning in, in here. Well, no, my my, my point is uh, well. Basically, basically, you know, my, um, well, there is this traditional, you know, view of modernity, you know, modernity as you know, the break with representation, and representation being more or less, you know, identified with figuration, with the fact, with the fact of narration, with the fact of so the fact of, of of figuration, you know, so with the idea that there is a break, that the modern break, you know, is the break, you know, that happens at the moment, for instance. When, uh, when painting, you know, when painting, you know, sh shifts, you know, shifts from uh, from representation to abstraction, for instance, or the moment of the decaphonism, etc., etc. So, and there, so there is there, there is this usual presentation of of modernity in art, you know, as a break from representation, but in, in my view, uh, with a very very narrow idea of of what representation is, you know. And so my so my so my, my point is, you know, representation or my message, you know, is not is, is not simply the fact of imitating, you know, simply the fact of of narrating, of having plots or making portraits, etc., etc. You know, but but my message is a whole is a whole regime of experience, a regime of experience. You know, so and I, I tried so I tried to I tried to say, you know, so my message is not representation. My message is, you know, a whole set of rules that. Uh, but, 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 but precisely, you know, uh, rule over representation, you know, say, and it's, uh, so the core of the, what, of the mimetic regime of the representative logic, you know, is the fact, you know, that you cannot imitate, you know, anything, you know, and, and, and when you imitate one thing, you know, you must imitate it, you know, in, you know, in, 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 a, in a certain way, you know, according to the dignity of the object, according to the genre, etc., etc. So, so basically, my, my idea is, you know, the, the mimetic order, you know, is first of all a set of, a, a set of rules, set of rules, you know, telling what, what what must what must be what must be imitated and and the rules and the, and the whole rules of imitation, which also means you know that uh, that it is a regime of experience in in, in which you know uh, there, there are let us say some kinds some kinds of of rules you know of inclusion for, for for objects. So some objects can be treated you know in an artistic way. They can be the, the object of a poem of a painting etc. But uh, but not but but not 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 everything. So well, this is my my my, my first my first point. So uh, uh, this means that an anti-representative, you know, revolution doesn't mean, you know, that for instance, you you, you switch from a, from a figure from figurative art to abstract painting. For instance, no. It means it means really the destruction or the disruption, you know, of this whole set of regulation, you know. So so that's, and well, and and uh, which means for well, this is the first point. You know. Well, the, the second point, which is, but you can stop me, you know, if, if I am too long. You stop me to say that's that's enough. No, 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 no problem. The second and the third point. No, 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 no problem. No, the, 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 the second point I would say is so. The, so, so the, the first point is really we have to 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 change the ways in which we think you know uh, transformations and revolution in the field in the field of art. You know, the problem, the, the, the main problem, you know, being well the framework in which things can be identified or things images or so if images or narration etc can be identified as being art you know this is the first and the second point because the second point or it, it, it can also be the, the first point you know is that well art art in fact you know is a, itself a historical concept you know so the point is that art, you know, as art with a, with, a, with a capital A, you know, and, and, and in the singular, has existed in our civilization uh, only since uh, the second half of the 18th century. Because before there were some, there were arts, but art, art meaning, meaning a technique, meaning a technique, a know-how, you know. So there were arts, and there were some arts that were called fine arts, or there was the opposition between liberal arts and uh, mechanical arts. But it happens only at the end of the 18th century, you know, that art is designated, you know, not as a kind of common concept, you know, uh, concept, concept, in uniting all arts, but as a specific sphere of experience. And, 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 and my, so my point is, you know, art, uh, 
begins uh, really to exist in the Western, let us in, in the Western world at the moment at the moment when uh, when you know the, the rules the rules that for instance oppose liberal arts to mechanical arts or the rules that uh, the rules that you know that told you know what could be represented and in what way it has to be represented and in what genre it has to be represented you know uh, big uh, start you know, start you know, collapsing. So we, 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 which we, which means that for me, so uh, so aesthetics, aesthetics, or the aesthetic regime is precisely the new regime, you know, where in which, on the one hand, art art now exists, you know, as a sphere of experience, and but on the but on the second and you know, on the other hand, you know, there are no more barriers se separating what belongs to art and what doesn't belong and what doesn't belong to art, you know. Which means that well, in the representative regime, there was a kind of let us say of, of correspondence, you know, between what artists, uh, what what um, the rules, the rules, you know, commanding artistic practice, and the rules, the rules of sensibility. You know, you know, telling how people can uh, how, how, how how good can people can agree can agree with their practice. So there was so uh, for, for me the heart of the mimetic regime, you know, is well this uh, this this idea of uh, correspondence, you know, between artistic practice or poiesis, you know, and aesthetics, but aesthetics in a restricted sense, you know, a meaning the way in which you know in which people can enjoy what artists do. You know. And and uh, what happens with aesthetic regime, you know, is that this this is this is broken. So it's, so so the, the aesthetic regime is a regime in which there is no more rule of correspondence between what artists do, you know, and what people see, well, what people see, what people what, what people feel, you know, in front of of their works. And and well, and it's uh, I think it, it and it's something that happens really well that happens between the let us say the middle and the end of the of the eighteenth century. It's also the Moment when when the concept the very concept of aesthetic you know you know perhaps you know uh, starts starts its existence right? and and it's very interesting but from the very beginning people say but this does, this term means nothing. This term means nothing, you know. So all, all, all you know, all, all the theorists, you know, dealing with aesthetics, uh, first say this is this, this is a float concept, you know. This is a float concept. What? Which means precisely we don't know exactly what it is. So now aesthetic, because aesthetics is supposed to be some kind of science or philosophy of art, but it, but it is not. Aesthetics designates a regime of experience, you know, in which you know, in which there is no more a correspondence between the rules of practice and the rules of perception and that practice. And this is what is, for instance, of summed up by Kant with the idea that you know that the beautiful is something that is that is judged without a concept. So art as concept, art you know as concept, you know, uh, defining uh, uh, you know, ruling. Uh, it, it, it's practice, but aesthetics has no such has no such concept. So aesthetics, you know, really locates itself in a kind of in a kind of gap, you know, between artistic practice and aesthetic reception. Let us say very quickly. <laughs> right. Uh, I, two, two at least two questions emerging from that for me at yeah. least is the temporality that you are establishing between the aesthetic regime and the representative regime, mm -hmm. because you said. Mm -hmm. The representative regime used to be hmm. in a certain way. So hmm. it, it suggests that the aesthetic regime has taken over from the representative regime, that it came later. But also sometimes from your writings, I have the impression that the two regimes coexist, hmm. uh, that the tradition of the representative regime hmm. or the mimetic regime, I hmm. don't know if there is a difference between the two of them, they still coexist. Um, um, the representative regime has not ceased to exist because of aesthetics has imposed itself as a different uh, mode of experience of art and allowed everything to be considered as art. So to say anything can be art depending on the mm. kind of experience that it allows it to be. So my question is about this dichotomy or diachronicity between the aesthetic regime and the representative regime. Yes, well, I think there are, there are two points. So the first point is that, yes, you, we can really uh, well, locate you know, the birth of the aesthetic regime you know, in, your way, in, in time. You know. so, there are, there are, there are you know, a set you know, of forms of perception you know, of art you know, that really start, our, start at this moment. And the very term art, you know, the, 
you, you cannot find the, the term art, you know, before. That, 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 that's the point, that, that's the point, you know, where mm -hmm. if you speak of art in general, you know, in the 17th century, well, to say, well, art mean, means, uh, well, knowledge, knowledge, things like that, but it doesn't mean a specific sphere of experience. So there is, a, a, there is I think, a, a historicity of the aesthetic regime. That's the first point. The second point, you know, is that this historicity is the historicity of a, of a new regime of experience, but this new regime is not, you know, is not exclusive, you know. The fact that there is no new regime doesn't, you know, do, do, doesn't doesn't you know mean that you can you can know you can know more you know of, uh, you know do and you do do and you can know more feel you know in the same way you did before you know and well I, I, I very often you know uh, uh, take a very precise example you know for instance in the 18th century so. So let us say before the break. <laughs> so, for, for instance, you know, uh, so so French French writer, so Voltaire, you know, well, he, you know, he makes uh, he, he writes co he writes commentaries, you know, about the tragedies, you know, of Corneille, you know, and and uh, and you know, in each play, in each play, you know, in each play, you know, you know, so he analyzes, uh, you know, each each scene, you know, and character, you know, and he says, well, this uh, this character should not be should not be, you know, speaking. In this way, for instance, a princess sh should not uh, should not tell uh, tell her love in that way. It, it, it doesn't fit a princess, you know, for instance. You know. And so, uh, so there is a uh, rules, you know, precisely of well, uh, well uh, what what can and what cannot be done. You know. And uh, well, and, and of course, it's something that uh, that, that is you know well, that is uh, well, brushed aside with romanticism, etc., etc. You know. But at the same time, you know, if you look, for instance, you know, uh, at the practice, you know, at the practice of the producers in Hollywood, you know, they do exactly the same thing. You know, they do exactly the same thing as Voltaire did. You know. So well, when the filmmakers, you know, comes with his film, comes with his film or her film, you know, well, they have, they have say, no, 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 this cannot be, this cannot be done because the audience, you know, will not, will not accept this, etc. So uh, and, and if you look, you know, at the at the commentary, at the commentary is made by the great, by the great producer. We are not at all idiots, you know. We are well, very intelligent persons, like uh, like you know, Zelnik and others, you know. Well, they, 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 and they, they, they say no, no, no. This this must this must be changed. And they are very, very precisely because this is what is good for what is good for the audience, you know. And it is not uh, the, but they despise the audience, no. But they, they think that there is a precisely some rules of correspondence you know between what artists do and what the uh, and what the, what, what the audience you know what the audience you know uh, you know uh, uh, can can or must or must feel or will or will or will feel you know so we, this means i think uh, well in uh, I think uh, cinema is a very interesting case, pre pre precisely because we, when cinema we, we, when we, we, when cinema started, you know, there were of course some uh, well some utopias about cinema. You know, some uh, so, some people saying, oh, that's fantastic, and now uh, cinema is the art that uh, that will brush aside, you know, all the all the old stuff, plots and characters and and love stories, etc., etc. But the, exactly the opposite happened, you know. What what was uh, 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 what was no more possible, you know, in well in uh, in uh, in novels or in you know in high literature, you know, was possible was possible in was possible in cinema and even you know the, the division in genres etc etc uh, that, that disappeared, you know, disappeared from painting, that disappeared from uh, from literature, you know. Well, it was it was reinstated by by, by cinema, you know. And so, so so for me, what is interesting is precisely this this tension this tension and art can be, uh, can belong to several regimes at the same time. You Know. Right. Um, that's very interesting. I was interested in your comparison between Voltaire and Hollywood, um, precisely uh, oh. because before you, people like Deleuze and Bazin right. had identified the classical cinema uh, with Hollywood and montage cinema mm. uh, or l'image mm. mouvement mm. in mm. Deleuze's terms. Mm. Um, and um, th uh, it seems that the representative regime would have some similarities with uh, the kind of classicism that, let's say, Bazin <coughs> was talking about, <coughs> because um, it follows some rules. Um, uh, which have to do with narrative and effective ways of narrating mm. a story mm. that um, has to follow certain rules in order to succeed mm. in passing a certain message. 
whereas the um, aesthetic regime is one that accepts everything, so to say, and uh, is not preoccupied with uh, directly with representing or uh, to duplicating what is already there in the world. So um, I know that you take issue with Deleuze. Uh, you don't think that cinema can be defined in terms of images, one image against the other, or at least this is what uh, is stated in La Fable Cinematographie. So um, I wonder how you compare your representative regime with the classical cinema, so to say, as opposed to the modern cinema. Well, I think it's very hard. It's very hard for the world to uh, to to say what uh, a mo what what a classical cinema is, you know, because classical cinema it can be it can be it, it, you, well, it, it can be the, well if you think classical cinema, you know, art, you know, something that happened before the, before well, the, the so-called you know break, you know, uh, uh, well identified by Bazin and and and, uh, and Deleuze, you know, it's very hard. Well, uh, would you would we say, for instance, you know that that uh, Giga Volkov and William Wellman, you know, belong uh, belong to the same classical cinema, you know, uh, and, and, and I think probably not. I think that from the very beginning, from the very beginning, there were, you know, different logics uh, what, what, that were involved, you know, in the practice, in the practice of cinema. So from the very beginning, there, is, there are people who think that well, uh, well, cinema, cinema is a cinema is a good way, is a good new way of of telling of, of telling of telling stories, you know, uh, and well. And there are people who think that cinema is the art that, well, at the end will will make us able not to tell stories anymore, you know. And so, so, and so there are there are really you know two kinds of cinema, you know, existing existing at the same time, and also of course a multiplicity of forms of of intertwinement <laughs> between 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 those between those cinemas. So I think that uh, well, the opposition made by. Uh, made by ba by Bazin, well, it's it's well, it's not uh, well, it, it's not it's not it's not very clear, it's not very clear. Well, it's not very clear, you know, because what exactly, you know, what is exactly common, for instance, uh, uh, to to Orson Welles and to Rossellini, you know, we've got all, in a, in a way, in a way, I think that Orson Welles, you know, well, belongs to classical cinema, to classical cinema, you know, uh, be belongs to a certain a certain a certain way, you know, of of refining, you know, the practice of telling of telling telling stories, you know. While well in Rossellini there is this there is this break telling stories that are not really stories, you know, so this way, this way really, you know, of, of lingering, you know, on on place on places, on places, on, on faces, etc. Et and I think well I I've always been surprised, you know, by this identification precisely of a, of a new modern cinema, you know. With with so with figures so so different, you know, than uh, Orson Welles on the one hand, you know, which is rather theatrical, you know, and and and, Russell, and Rossellini, you know, who perhaps well, is uh, well, is uh, at the opposite, at the opposite, you know. So uh, and uh, of course uh, there is also the idea that. Uh, no, I think uh, really, you know, in, in Deleuze there is a very an opposition, which is a metaphysical opposition. You know, but basically, you know, you know, action image, you know, action image, you know, you know, so or you know, movement image, you know, so well against time image. I think well, in fact, it is the opposition of two of two modes of time of of two modes of time. It, it is properly a metaphysical opposition. Well, it, it's not it's not it's not so e it's not so easy really really to uh, well to. To apply it to uh, to apply it to to the history of cinema because there have been there have been from the very beginning there have, uh, different ways of 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 dealing with time you know and even what what, 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 what you know what uh, time image is well, I'm, well, my my point is that time image you know in uh, well in, in Deleuze of course is very closely. Well, also linked with uh, probably Deleuze's test, you know, for Alain René, you know, from, 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 from you know, the, the, the Alain René of uh, Marian Bad and, and, and things like that, you know. Well, but time image, you know, can you can associate it with very different kinds of cinema. If you think of Bellatar, for instance, I would say that in a sense, you know, uh, Bellatar image, Bellatar's images, you know, are time images because really time, time is really the, the content. 
the content of, of what happens on the screen, you know, much, much more, much more than Anna Rene, for instance. So, well, so, uh, so, so basically, I, uh, so basically, I, I don't think, I don't think that we can, you know, identify representative with classical or or with uh, movement, movement image and aesthetics with, uh, you know, modern or modern or with uh, time, time image, you know. Well, basically, I think, well, uh, my, my point is that uh, the, very, the very notion of modernity, you know, has been more, uh, uh, well, uh, well, uh, you know, because more, more than the damages, you know, than, than, than it was use, useful, you know, for, for art. But that's, that's my point, of course. Uh, right. Uh, if I can just ask one more question, and then, let, because I know mm. that my colleagues have prepared their own questions, but there is one here that I can't avoid because it's the question of time yeah. that seems to be um, at the core of your own thoughts and it seems to me uh, within the aesthetic regime as well when you address, <coughs> uh, for example, Chantal Ackermann mm. or um, uh, Pedro Costa mm. and um, the kind of lingering mm. and the kind of observational mm. attitude towards mm -hmm. their object mm -hmm. that um, uh, rejects uh, where, as you say, um, we can observe the senses in the way that they shoot the, mm -hmm. their subjects mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. the need of expressing politics um, discursively or um, representing politics. It's embedded in the form, mm -hmm. uh, and this form being the extension in time the observational kind of attitude towards the object and letting the object speak for themselves. Um, so I wonder whether time would not also play a central role within the aesthetic regime, whether I'm completely wrong to understand that. Well, no, I think, no, I think that time, that time certainly plays, uh, plays a role. And, well, and of course, there, there, are, there are also some similarities, you know, with what, uh, with, with what uh, Deleuze thinks, you know, but, 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 but Basically, basically, I think that well, one of one of the central and one of the political political you know issues at stake in the aesthetic regime, well, is a, is, is a treatment of time. You know, it, let us for let us you know for, for a moment use you know uh, the, the word classical and modern. You know, French can because it, it may it may be practical or, or it or it may be short, shorter than representative and aesthetic. But well, uh, we can uh, well we can say that there is uh, that there is a, a classical representative model of uh, of of action of action as as a connection as a connection of uh, a connection of causes and effects and this this classical this, this classical representative you know idea of the work the work being kind of being like a body you know with with all with all parts being well uh, being well adjusted you know and 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 depending and depending on her head, you know, etc., etc. Well, this is a kind of Aristotelian, Aristotelian model, and this, and this model, you know, has gone well through the, through the ages, and, and is still and is still present today. You know, well, let us say this is a hierarchical model, you know, and I and, and I would say that what is at, at the core of the aesthetic regime is the destruction of this hierarchical model, you know, the hierarchical model, you know, and precisely you know, what it means dealing with 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 with, with a time, well, which. Which precisely is no more is no more time a, year, a time with kind of hierarchy of causes and effects you know of, of 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 things that that are you know that are worth telling and things that are not worth telling you know so so because basically so the, the classical model is based on the opposition of two temporalities you know with the fact that there is a temporality to uh, the temporality of persons you know to whom events may happen, basically, you know, and the temporality of people to whom events cannot, may not, may, may or cannot happen, you know, and this is where when we replace this, this famous distinction made by Aristotle, you know, between, between poetry and history, and say poetry, uh, you say poetry constructs, uh, constructs, you know, precisely a form, a form of connection uh, that tells, uh, that tells how things can happen, while history only tells things as they happen, you know. Which also, which in fact means uh, that precisely poetry, po poetry, you know, is adapted to a certain form of life, you know, and well, uh, for the rest of 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 the, of, the, of the humankind, you know, it's history meaning empiricity, meaning that things happen one after the uh, one after the other, one uh, well, just and so 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 there is this idea, there is 
that there are people that there are people who have a kind of active part you know in in time and people for whom time is only kind of a matter of passive reception you know? and what happens i think what what is interesting you know in the aesthetic regime is well the disruption the disruption of this model you know? so so if you think what happens what happens in, in novel what happens in, what happens in the theater what happens with cinema well, it, well it's precise it's precisely the disruption of this opposition between be, be, between two forms between two forms of of, temp of temporality, of temporality, you know. So uh, it means, so if you think what happened, uh, what happened with the so-called you know, realistic turn of the novel in the 19th century, is that what uh, it, that it happens? It, that it happens, you know. It, it is possible now, you know, uh, that you know, uh, well, just, just, you know, so the day, the day of a poor peasant's daughter, you know, uh, behind, behind her windows, uh, is something that is uh, that is that is interesting and and and. And, and, and even more, you know, there is this moment when we are the, the temporality when, when, when you know, nothing happens, you know, becomes 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 a, a, a major temporality for, for, for modern fiction, for novel, etc., etc. So I think, uh, uh, yes, uh, well, uh, you can find some kind of analogy of analogy, you know, of course, uh, but at the same time, well, what interests what interests me, uh, you know, is not uh, is not so much kind of. Uh, metaphysical, you know, me metaphysical, you know, opposition between uh, uh, two series of time. What interests, what interests me is really, well, this, polit this political, you know, uh, issue, you know, of, well, uh, of the, well, uh, well let us say, of, of, the, of the opposition of two temporality and of the blurring of that opposition. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I know that there are more <laughs> questions here. Um, I don't know if whether Amel would like to... Um, well, I'm, there might be a very short reply yeah. to my question, but um, when I'm reading through some of your work, there are certain terms that you use around the unrepresentable, for example, mm. around mm. nothing happens, mm. um, that make me think of Beckett. Um, and I don't believe that you've written extensively on, on, on Beckett, and I really just wondered how you approach his work, whether it's something you're not interested in or something that you feel doesn't have a connection, or whether you feel that there's a potential critique of Beckett in your work. What's that? Beckett. Samuel Beckett. Samuel Beckett. Ah, Samuel Beckett. Yeah. Well, I, well, I was Samuel thinking of Stan Beckett. Right? <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Well, I've no. Uh, but, well, I've no. Uh, well. Uh, I've not, uh, I've, I've not uh, read, uh, read him, uh, you know, so much in my life. You know, well, I think it, well, it's just a fact. You know, yeah. there, are, there, are, there are people, you know, who, who, who really are focused, you know, on some authors, you know, at, at a certain moment in their life, and possible, uh, and, this, uh, and this, it is possible, certainly, you know, perhaps to, well, to make the same kind of the same kind of move that I that, that I made with other authors, you know, and perhaps Beckett, you know, as uh, can be a uh, well, uh, can can be uh, can be a good case, you know. Well, it's difficult. It's difficult to know uh, to know why. But there are there are some uh, and, uh, and 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 certainly, of course, if you think in terms of of time, of disruption, of of disruption, you know, of the classical model of model of time, you know, it's it is something. It is something that is that is that is that is interesting, you know. Well, uh, at the same time, you know, you, well, it's also a question of generation, you know. So Beckett, uh, well, I read Beckett, you know, for when I was when I was young, of course, and it was not at the same time as the time when you were young or, or younger. You know, but uh, but the point is, you know, when I was young, you know, so Beckett, you know, was uh, uh, was part of something that was called, you know, the theater of the absurd, of the nonsense, you know, and so uh, we 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 have a connection, you know, between Beckett, UNESCO, you know, and and, uh, and what well, so so the, the, this relation, you know, this relation of this way of approaching time, you know, with the idea of nonsense, you know, was not was not was not telling, you know, was not telling, you know, to me, you know. And, and and the fact is so that I was uh, that I was more struck, you know, by the, by the what was at stake, you know, in the treatment of time in in Flaubert or in Virginia Woolf, you know. But that's but that's the point. But it's not it's not you know a choice. It's not to say that these are the good authors, these are the bad authors, or these are interesting. So those are not interesting. No, I think it's uh, well, it's uh, um, well. You don't know exactly, you know, how, how how it happens, you know, because precisely I don't think you know that theory means that you construct kind of, of general method, you know, and with this method, you know, you look at different uh, authors or different filmmakers. No, no, I think for me, I I have always. Uh, 
while trying to think and to, uh, and to write, you know, well, from cases, from cases, from words, from, speci from specific work, from specific moments in specific words, things like that. Uh, and uh, this is my way of, uh, of doing what, what, what people call, uh, what people call theory, you know. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think that Jonathan had something to ask him. Um, well, several. I, I could pick up uh, your last comment yeah. um, to ask you about the relationship between your understanding of something so big as the idea of the aesthetic yeah. and then uh, the, the example, yeah. um, the case study yeah. uh, and how these two things connect mm -hmm. to each other because you know you have things to say about specific films mm -hmm. and then you have a theory of you know cinema and the aesthetic so um, I wonder whether you could uh, say something about how you think this analytical discourse should work or could work for you? Well, you know, uh, well, uh, what, 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 what interests me, what, what interests me, as, as, as I said, you know, as, well, uh, well, regimes of experience, modes of, exper modes of experiencing, you know, and I think this can all be, this can be really felt and this can be perceived and this can be, this can be, or this can be explained, you know, precisely through case studies, you know. Well, the point is, you know, that, uh, of course, you can, uh, you, you can start from theories or from theories and from manifestos, for instance. Well, I, I mean, for, for instance, I, I remember, I remember once, uh, once, you know, uh, so trying to do something with, <coughs> you know, with this enormous, this enormous book in two volumes, uh, in two volumes w about theories of, theories of, uh, of modern art. I don't remember, you know, so far two, two big volumes of, of manifestos, you know. I could not do, and I could not do anything out of it. You know, I, I can do, I, I cannot do anything about, a, uh, you know, out of a manifesto, and, and we know how many manifestos, you know, were were, were you know, written, were written, you know, during the twentieth century. But I think it's possible, really, to, well, to make something out of, well, out of cases, uh, for instance. So in an, in Aesthetics, what I try to do is, well, to take, so to, to to take a number of scenes, fourteen scenes, you know, well. At a certain moment, at a certain moment, historical moment, you know, well, so, so, somebody, some, somebody, somebody, a poet, a poet, a, a poet, a philosopher, you know, looking, looking at a work, looking uh, at a painting, looking, looking at a show, uh, visiting a sculpture, you know, well, and trying to and, and, and trying to say what happens, you know. So what what interests me is uh, what happens, and in a way, you know. Well, uh, the transformation of a regime of experience, you know. Uh, well, it's it's a transformation in the ways in the ways of 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 perception of perception. It's about what what you can perceive and how you can and how you uh, how you, you 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 can speak about what we perceive. And it, it is also, of course, why you know I, I was all, all, always dis, dissatisfied, you know, with this thinking of modernity, you know, in terms of, uh, well, the, well the, you know, the disruption of the work itself. No, there is no disruption of the work itself. There is a disruption of regime of experience when there is this, well, uh, the disruption of a whole set of relationships between, uh, well, uh, between what, what an artist does, you know, what, what, what a viewer, what, what a viewer, what a viewer, you know, can, can perceive, you know, what, what what a writer what a writer what a writer can uh, can, can tell can, can tell can tell you know, and etc 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 so i so i so i, so I think uh, for, for me you know uh, well it, uh, of course it's something but uh, something probably but uh, but i learned you know from from michel foucault you know but well if, if you want if you want really to well to to perceive you know, to perceive you know uh, the, the big disruption, you know, you don't you don't perceive the big disruption, you know, uh, for some uh, some specific events or, or some being uh, or some or, or some you know uh, uh, some manifestos, you know, you feel you you feel you, you you can perceive it, you know, why well, for the kind of slight displacement, you know, in modes of perceptions, in in, in modes of, in in mod, modes of writing, or in thinking, thinking, etc. And and for this year, so you have to you have to take a, well a number a number number of, of case of case studies. Well, so what really what interests me, you know, is well, you are in front of something, you know, and what can what, what can you do with this thing? You know, this is pre this is really, really what, what interests me, you know. This moves to a question of methodology, that's why I'm asking the question. Okay. So do you think the do you think the answer is satisfactory? Or? Uh, probably. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no but you can uh, you can ask more or you can <laughs> Uh, well, it arose actually from a comment that was made by my colleague John over here, uh -huh. uh, 
of which maybe you should explain it, about um, analysis. Which comment was that? And <laughs> well, to, to ask whether your thinking can encompass the methodologies of um, close criticism of cinematic mise-en-scene mm -hmm. and interpretive mm -hmm. criticism of this kind, mm -hmm. because that would depend on being responsive to the properties of an object which mm -hmm. you know is in front of you, mm -hmm. and then trying to evolve a, mm -hmm. an interpretive story about mm -hmm. this object. Yeah. So it's a issue about method, really. Well, I would say, of course, uh, but perhaps in a way, it is, it is the it is the whole of my of of of, of my of my method, you know. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, but uh, if you want, uh, if you want really to to perceive, to perceive, to perceive changes, you know, when you have you have really, you know, to stand in in front in front of events, in front of situations, and and and, and try, uh, uh, well. Uh, and try really to, to well to, to see to see what 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 hap what happens what 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 is exactly well, what is exactly the shift you know so it says why for instance I tried I tried long ago to tell people but, uh, but abstract painting has not uh, has not you know started you know in in nineteen uh, nineteen uh, nineteen uh, nineteen uh, eleven or twelve you know no abstract painting had, had already had already you know, started much much before but. but at the moment when, well, the very description, there was a shift in the very description, there was a moment in, in the 19th century when people were, when uh, critics, critics were in front, in, in front of, well, of paintings, of paintings, were, were, but were figurative paintings, but at the same time describing, describing it as abstract, you know, with, uh, with uh, patches, patches of colors, etc., etc. So uh, for me, so I, I, I think that the, the, for, for me the, the only method is, well, not, not, it's not the only method, but the only method but in any way that I, but I can practice, you know, is this method, you know. Which is why also for me, what, what is very difficult for me with Deleuze, you know, is that very often when I, when, I, when I read Deleuze, I think he has not seen the film, you know. <laughs> or, or, or not, 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 he's not interested, you know. He's not interested in what happened, in what happens, you know. He's interested, you know. So he selects, uh, he selects, you know, one, uh, one, one, in, one image. He selects, uh, he selects one word, you know, and the, the word, you know, calls, you know, a whole theory. But well, I, I, well, uh, I think, uh, I think it, it, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not in this way that I, uh, but I can, but I can think, you know. And, well, I, well. To, to be provocative, you know, I would say that uh, well, uh, that, that, that my point has always been, you know, that uh, that a method, you know, is not so, uh, so big, uh, is not so big, uh, so big an affair, you know. Uh, that uh, a method, you know, is a way, uh, is a way of, of, of walking, you know. And that when it comes to the method, you know, so well, the first point is uh, try, uh, trying to look, uh, trying to look, and trying to make to make something of, of what you have observed, you know. Um, I think you are an extraordinary observer of, <laughs> of uh, films and, um, and works of art as well. Um, and I would have more questions, but I think that... Well, um, I was just going to follow up. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, so, which is more important, mm. to study the object mm. or to study the interaction between the object and, and its audience or, or, or the critics? Because when you were talking just now about... Um, mm abstract art yeah. uh, paintings being mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 the move to abstract art happened mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. know, Picasso mm -hmm. um, y the way you explained that was by saying that critics were standing in front of the paintings and observing mm -hmm. so I, I'm interested in this this issue I suppose whether is, is it the interaction between audience and and art or, or film or, or or painting that, that really matters or is it or is it the image itself that, well, it depends. It, it depends. Of course, well, I would say well, well, when I look uh, when I look at a film, you know, I, I, well, I look at I look at the film, you know, and what is what is interesting is well, is uh, well, I, I mean, well, is of course what is on the screen. But uh, at the same time, you know, I've, I've always uh, I've always worked, you know, in fact, you know, well, between several perceptions, you know, of the same thing, for instance, you know, and I could write uh, I could write on film, you know. Because I saw the same things, you know, at different moments, you know, in my existence, which means precisely constructing very differently, you know, the relation between between what was on the screen and what was on the screen and and, and myself, you know. But well, I would say that so I would say that uh, oh, you know what interests me is just what is in front of me, you know. But when I speak about art regimes of art, etc., etc., what interests me precisely, you know, is uh, well. Uh, uh, 
you know, be from me, you know, a multiplicity of, of people, you know, have been standing, you know, be, you know, before, be, before uh, works of art, you know, standing in, in theaters, in theaters, in museums, etc., etc. Well, and, and, and trying, and trying to tell, to tell what, what, what was uh, in front of them. That's why, for instance, you know, I, well, I, I've always a problem with my colleagues, you know, when my colleagues, you know, when my colleagues, you know, uh, discuss or, or, you know, f f you know f uh, talk about art, you know, uh, from rock paintings, you know. Well, it's, for, for me, it's impossible. Because uh, for, for me, impossible, you know. Well, uh, how, uh, for, you know, to, to comment, you know, on rock paintings from a time, you know, when I'm, I'm not able to imagine, you know. <laughs> Why? What? What? what the, the, the painters have, had in their mind, you know, what it could mean, what it could mean, and how it could be perceived, you know, by the person, by the person in front of it. So but that's why they say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, that's such it's such an interesting, and well, and, and why is this kind of let us say phenomenological approach, you know, people, you know, people, you know, trying, trying to, well, to 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 think, uh, to to well, to, to feel, to feel, to feel what can be felt, in, you know, in front of a rock painting or and painting. But of course, uh, uh, they have not seen, or they have not seen, you know. But 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 um, but it's not, not even possible to to see now, you know. You know, in, in most of cases, how can we speak about this? You know, uh, well, how can we speak about this? So I think, uh, for me, you know, it's possible to speak about uh, about uh, what about an object? You know, where, where there is there still is a link, you know, there's still link, uh, a link, you know, precisely between the work between the between the work and the way you know it, it comes it comes to us, you know. And for instance, for what interests me, you know, well, is uh, well, it's not, you know, uh, let us say, you know, Greek sculpture, you know, but Greek scul but Greek sculpture, you know, as it became, it became a new form of events, you know, in modern in, in modern time from the from the from the eighteenth century, for instance, you know, well, so. Um, so I think. Uh, so I think. At, at, at the same time, at, at the same time, what interests me is to, uh, trying to see what I what, what I see, you know, uh, and 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 my, but also uh, also trying to, to uh, trying to say how people how people behave behave in general in front of uh, of what of what they see and how and how they can tell it because precisely you know well the the sensible for me you know this this always means a relationship a relationship I remember for instance when I, so when there was a discussion about this book uh, Isthesis you know last year last year in in London you know. And, uh, and it, it, it happens that the book has no illustrations. There's no illustration because it's a problem, or in fact, with the publisher. It's not, it's not really a choice, you know. But well, people have at the eye, so people, some people told, well, oh, you 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 talk about uh, aesthetics, about works of art. There's not an illustration, and it's always, you know, the, 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 this well-known thing about French thinkers, you know, it, it, you know, downcast eyes, the eyes, you know, they, they don't look. They, there is a kind of anti-optical, you know, uh, <laughs> prejudice, you know, among French thinkers. No, no, no. Well, uh, no, no. For first, uh, it was not That's exactly my choice. Good. And and, and, and second, for me, the sensible is it's not uh, the fact, you know, of having an illustration. Situation. What, what is interesting is precisely having a, having a relation, you know, of what people see, of, of what people have seen, you know, and, and so the sensible is this, is, is, is this relation, you know, so Hegel is in front of a painting by, by, by Murillo, you know, and of course I can put the painting uh, by Murillo in the book, you know. But what is interesting is not the painting itself. You know, the painting is not so so extraordinary. You know, what is extraordinary is the comment. So observe, what is extraordinary is the way in which you know, well. Uh, you know, visual images, you know, are turned into words, you know, and th this is, uh, this is what interests me, uh, and not, you know, so, so just the fact, you know, of, of you know, putting the, putting the image, uh, you know, of, of in the book. But Les Écarts du Cinéma is full of illustrations. They can cinema there were there are ten there are ten illustrations, so there was a negotiation was a negotiation with the with the public with the publisher, you know. There is always a negotiation with the public with the publisher about the about the image because well uh, well I thought it's, it's, but, but it's possible, you know. You know, you know. You know, there is this uh, so this, this journal traffic. You know, was uh, what has no illustration at all, and I think it was a choice from the very beginning uh, for traffic, uh, no illustration. With precisely the, the idea that well, 
if you speak about cinema, you speak about you speak about cinema. You you try you try to translate in to, not into words. You know uh, what is a, what is a, what is on on the screen, so what you perceive, what you feel. You know. But, so, but, but at the same time, sometimes I think it's well, it's useful. That's why, for instance, uh, you know. Uh, so later on, you know, in, uh, during my talk, I will I will show some uh, I will show some some, some images because I think that there must always be this kind of. Uh, well, this kind of, of move, of move, let us say, from uh, uh, from the fact of well, being in front, in in front of, of the event of the image, but, but also at the same thing, at the same time, having the idea that well, it's, it's not only the, the event, you know, the event of the image, like kind of, kind of thunderstorm, you know, the kind of oh, absolute fact. No, the, the event is all. You are part of the event, you know. You are part of the event, so it's always a kind of a, a kind of shift, a, a shift from well, the images themselves, you. You know, and uh, the translation of the the translation of the images into 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 words. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I have a question. I'm, if I can articulate it clearly, this is it's rather a selfish question. It's about something I'm interested in in my own research. And mm. Have a kind of problem with, which is I'm interested in films that appear in art galleries, films and other mm. kinds of moving images, mm. that were in, how we encounter them mm. in art galleries. And mm. I became interested in this because it seemed to me like a kind of redistribution of the sensible. Mm. Mm. And you, you're in a new context, mm. different institution, mm. and there's a kind of freshness in mm. the way that people encounter mm. the image, almost like going to the Lumiere cinematograph again. Mm. You know, suddenly there's this miraculous thing, the moving image in the art gallery. Mm -hmm. So I got very excited by it. But uh, then I began to think about the financial arrangements mm -hmm. in these mm -hmm. semi-public spaces mm -hmm. and, and the monetization mm -hmm. of images. And mm -hmm. the, partly because I have to, sometimes I take my teenage children to see them and I have mm -hmm. to explain what's happening. Mm -hmm. and, and so I have to say, you know, we'll be able to look at this for mm -hmm. a month mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and then it will be taken away, mm -hmm. sold for mm -hmm. thousands of pounds in an edition of six to mm -hmm. rich people and we won't see mm -hmm. it again. Mm -hmm. And um, so I wondered if you had any thoughts about two things really, the movement of film and other kinds of moving images into different sorts of spaces mm -hmm. where people interact with them differently, mm -hmm. but also the monetization of images and, and whether that affects our experience of them and the meanings that they can actualize in the space. Well, I think that, uh, well, of course, the two things are, of course, are inter interrelated. Well, the first, the, first, the first point for me, you know, the first point for me, I think, well, uh, there is a there is a fact, and I will well, I will evoke it in, well, in, in my talk, you know, is that, you know, some forms of cinema now, you know, are no more really accepted, you know, well, well in movie theatres, you know. So, so there is, there is, there is, there is, there is, of course, this trend, you know, so, so sending, uh, sending films that don't, that, that are not formatted, you know, that are not formatted, matter to uh, art institutions and things like things like this. Like, but there is also, of course, uh, the temptation, the temptation for for filmmaker, for filmmakers, you know, to, to to turn their own films, to turn their old films, you know, into well, into installations. And, and when it is an installation, of course, it can be sold as an installation, you know, etc., etc. And but well, for for me, well, well the, the main point is not so much about. Uh, not so much about mo not so much about money because of course you can have you can have this kind of uh, uh, this kind of, of double use of uh, you know of, of cinema cinema in the movie theaters and cinema and cinema also being presented in art institutions then sold you know to to, to of course to rich uh, coll coll collectors but well, for me well, well, the, the main issue is, is about time is about time well, what happens what happens you know in uh, in art galleries you know is this kind of Disregard, you know, about time, you know. So because I mean, we, we, we know what, what. So of course, some, so sometimes it can be an interesting, uh, uh, an interesting uh, new approach. You know, films, you know, so seeing, for instance, you know, uh, well, one second, some sequence of uh, of films, you know, isolated, you know, on, on screens, on screens, on on several screens, or etc. You know, in 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 the gallery, you know. But at the same at, at the same time, people well are, are no more interested, you know, in really the, the temporal, you know, the really the, 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 the temporal construction of uh, of the film, you know. 
And well, and sometimes you 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 have some these strange things like, for instance, of course, this film, uh, this film by Christian Maracle, you know, that was presented, you know, at the at the Biennale sometime, uh, you know, some uh, some years ago, you know, so so a film, you know, a film in twenty called the clock, so a film in in twenty four hours, you know, with, with minutes, you know, taken from old films, you know, but but of course the film the film so the film lasts for twenty hours, you know. And it is uh, and it is made of uh, so of uh, of sequences you know uh, taken from films or well, with with events happening at so at eight uh, at eight 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 one eight one eight eight two eight five etc etc. But at the same time, first nobody nobody looks at the entire film you know, and second the film itself tells nothing about cinematographic time you know. But of course it, it, it's it's a specific case. But well, but basically, but 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 basically, you know what what happens, you know, in in art galleries, you know, with with, with films, you know, while people go so the the, the well the, the films of the, the film or the video, for instance, last you know for one hour, you know. But there are there are in the same gallery, you know, fifty films, you know, you know, lasting lasting one hour, you know, or fifteen minutes, or of course, and of course you have one or two minutes, you know, to devote to each of them, you know. So well, you you have some, some you have some clips, so it's 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 a, it's, it's a very strange thing because at the same time it's it's a new form of uh, well a new, a new form of exhibition, you know, of of the current image, you know, but in a way that tends really to. To deny the temporal consistence, the temporal consistence, the temporal texture, you know, of the, of those images. Yes, pe people. Um, somebody did something with documenta, didn't they? They added up the time of all the time-based works in mm. documenta, and, were, and it came out longer than the time that documenta was actually open to the public. Mm. So, in, in other words, it was absolutely impossible mm -hmm. to see all the time-based works in the time that documenta was on. But I do, um, I go and stay and watch the thing twice quite often, you know, it's, and I think of it as being like continuous performance mm. that they used to have in the movies, that, mm. you, that you bought your ticket and could go in and stay until where you came in and beyond mm. if you wanted to. But that maybe there are not many spectators like me that like that idea that you can go in and stay and nobody will chuck you out. What I, I do well, but when I when I was young, I remember. So of course, there, there were permanent, permanent cinemas, you know, as opposed, you know, to the normal cinema. Normal cinema, you so 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 you you went, you went, and there was a well, the documentaries, the news, etc., etc., and, and the pose, and then the film, and, and then you left, you know. And there were permanent cinema when you you can you, you you can stay the whole day, you can stay the whole day, and and it was important for, for it was important for cinephilia, you know. So I, I remember, you know, those young, those young, those young people, you know, in the in the six days, you know, looking five or six times, you know, the same, uh, the, the same film, you know, in the MacMahon in Paris, you know, but but uh, but 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 now, but now, but no, it, it's not what happens now. I mean, what happens now, you know, you, in, a, in a movie theater, you know, you, so you go and you know, so 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 you, you go and you, and you have to go out at the end, <laughs> well, uh, at the end at the end of the film, and of course uh, you can say there is well, there is the art gallery, there is a very 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 the museum and sometimes well yes you, you can you can stand but uh, but usually they, they don't even you know they don't even you know offer you a seat you know <laughs> you have to stand you have to stand yeah. so you are in front of a film where the film lasts very long and uh, yes. no seat no seat so so, so I say that basically the museum you know has the idea that people will not will not look you know because yeah. if, if, they had, if they had the idea that people would look you know or they, they would propose seats you know but the idea was they will, they will just have a look so they are there are some kind of idiots you know they are zapping you know so far so far then you know going into a going into a museum is the same as zapping you know on tv you know so, so i think really it's, it's not clear it's not clear really what uh, well, what art institutions, what what curators, etc., I want to do, you know, with film, with films in art galleries, you know. Mm. Yes, sure. Yes. Um, I'd like to um, ask you um, if you have any um, particular sort of thoughts about the the, the digital um, t uh, technologies and the way that they. Um, um, have affected cinema. It's been very fashionable, hasn't it, to talk about um, well, very, um, about ten years ago, perhaps about um, the coming of digital, and, and and people were reading it very much as a disruption, mm -hmm. um, and that's been debated more recently and problematized. Um, 
But I wanted to invite you to talk about um, the digital in relation to cin- cinematographic time. Did you do you have some uh, any views on 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 that aspect? Well, I, no, I don't think that I have views on this because well. I could not really perceive, you know, a very strong influence of digitalization on, you know, cinematographic time, you know. But, and I know, of course, you know, when, 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 of course, when there was a digitalization, people started, you know, telling it, it will change, it will change everything, you know. Well, but very often, but very often, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 well, you, with, di- with digital, with the digital techniques, you know, you can do all sorts, of, all sorts, all sorts of films, or, or create, Create all all sorts of all sorts of, of well of, of sensory texture and of course if you are if you are a film if you are a filmmaker you can say oh, yeah I cannot do this I, I cannot do this you know, of course with 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 the digital image or I can do this with this kind uh, with this kind of technique uh, but well I, I would say that for, for, for the spectator for the spectator you know well he has to be reminded he has to be reminded very very often or she has to be reminded you know but this film you know has been uh, well you know really has been shot with a digital camera you know and and that the projection itself is digital you know and no more and no more analogic so well I, I think it's uh, for me you know for me the, well the digitalization uh, uh, if it had an effect uh, more you know, more you know in terms of uh, availability of, uh, of the equipment you know for filmmakers so it, 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 it's easier it's easier to make films, you know, with with digital techniques, you know, but well, at the same time, with 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 digital techniques, you know, you can do the films of Pedro Costa, and you can do uh, blockbusters. Can I follow up on this because yeah. I find it really fascinating? Mm. Um, you mentioned that for you, this is about the experience of you know, looking, gazing um, mm-hmm. at, at the work of art or at a piece of cinema. Mm-hmm. If we take digitalization also to mean availability uh, for the audience mm. wherever it wants it, mm. I'm right now cramming a TV series, three uh, episodes at a time, mm. um, for, at least when I live in the US, um, thousands of movies are constantly available to me at my home cinema, mm. if you will. Mm. I do not go out anymore because people there use their cell phones. Mm. In the cin- so, but doesn't the digitalization of, of, of the cinema change significantly, if you will, the public versus the private space in experiencing cinema, movies, and therefore change also perhaps even its political role. Well, I think it's very. It, it, well, I think it's well. It's very. It's well. It, it's very difficult. It's very difficult to, to know because well, it's about also the relation between well, cinema, cinema as a time of entertainment, you know, well, and cinema as a, a practice of, of spectatorship, you know, and, mm-hmm. and precisely but there is this kind of, of dissociation, I would say, between spectatorship and entertainment, which means, for instance, that for, for, for persons you know like me, there was a time where, where a time when you we we had to go. To, uh, we, had, we had to go to the movie theater to, to, to see a film, you know, we, which means which means a specific uh, experience, you know, of well, of the dark, of the light, etc., etc., you know, of a specific of a specific space, you know, and well, now now of course when when I, when I when I want to, to find you know and, uh, well I, I know I, I'm, an old film you know by Raoul Walsh or Howard Hawks, you know, well of course uh, it's very hard it, it's very hard to find it in a movie theater, so so, uh, so, so some of them uh, you know uh, you know. Um, are screened in Paris, and it's easy one. But I, but but I but I can find it. I, I can find it. If that's true, you know, on the inter, on the internet, which which means that uh, what of course, but at, at, at this moment also also there is. A, well, there, there is uh, the, the question, the, the question: What is the kind of things, uh, the kind of thing I'm looking at? You know, uh, what, what is and what is the kind of of emotion you know, well, well, yeah, that I felt that I feel in front uh, in in front of, of that thing, you know? and it's a problem because of course, uh, uh, well, if you, you cannot if you cannot go to, for instance, to see a, uh, to to see the preview of a, of a film, you know, the, well, the filmmaker or the you know, the, well, the tells why well, we can we can send a, we can send a DVD, but 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 it's not the same thing, not the same thing, etc. etc. And, and it's true that in but in a way the DVD or the film, you know, the film on YouTube. Uh, well, it's a kind of ersatz, you know. Mm-hmm. But 
well, at the same time, well, the, the, uh, I think there are, two, there are two different things, right? Well, there is the experience, there, there is the visual experience, and of course there are visual experience that are, that are well, poor or richer, you know, and, and certainly the, the visual experience, you know, in a, when a movie theater is richer, you know, than the visual experience, you know, in front of, in front of your TV, and of course it depends on what kind of TV you have, you know, but uh, I have a basic TV, you know, so, <laughs> but, but, so I think, so I think there is a difference of visual experience, that is one fact, you know, and the other fact is, you know, well, let us say the, the possession, you know, the, the, the possession of the, of the history, of the history of cinema, so I can, I, I can have films available, I can have films available as part of a memory of cinema, you know, which is important. And at the same time, of course, there is something, uh, there is something different, you know, that is really the, well, the, the, the experience of a film, well, in the best condition or in the conditions, you know, for which the film, uh, the film has been, uh, has been, uh, well, uh, has been, has been made. So, so I think precisely what's interesting is that, that there are several, se several different things called cinema and several forms of relationship with that with, with, with that thing and I'm, I'm very happy I'm very happy of course if I can see if, if I can see you know some films of some that are, that are in Godard histories of cinema you know if I can find them, them on YouTube I, uh, well, I'm, 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 ha I'm happy you know so uh, well, I, I can so uh, uh, I can see, I can see more or less you know well, uh, well, uh, what the film what the film means what, what, the, what, what kind of object you know it, it is. At the, but at the same time, so I'm certainly, you know, deprived, you know, of, of some kind of strong, uh, strong uh, sense of experience, you know. Um, yeah. I think we should be probably wrapping up now to give you some time to okay. have a rest, uh, unless there are any... I have one, but I don't yeah, want no, to... Okay. If it's a quick question, quick perhaps question. we can... Take that okay, last one okay, and then okay. Wrap up. Yeah. I just wondered if you could say a bit more about the complex relationship between the classical and the modernist or the modern in cinema. You referred a bit about the idea that abstraction goes back a lot earlier in painting than people are giving it credit for, and, and you referred to Bazin on Wells and Rossellini. But mm -hmm. I wondered if you could say a little bit more about the complex inter intertwining, was a word you used earlier on, but between say, studio Hollywood films and other kinds of more overtly avant-garde practice and whether there's the complexity of that relationship? Well, uh, I'm not... Uh, well, I think, uh, well, uh, I, I think, uh, I, I think it, it's, it's difficult because, uh, well, I would say that from the very beginning, you know, uh, well, there are a multiplicity of, of different criteria, criteria, you know, of what an art film is, you know. Be, 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 be basically, so the, the point is, we, we, there is no, it's, it's, of course, there are, there are some, let us say, avant-garde films, you know, of course, uh, there have always been, uh, always been avant-garde films, you know, and the, uh, well, in, in the 1920s, you know, there are those films, you know, by people like Richter and so on. But are not so extraordinary way, you know, honest, honest, honestly, you know, but it, it is a it is a history of experimental of experimental films. So so we look at we look at we, we look at those films, so, and and of course from the very beginning, so there are, there have been you know this this kind of art, you know, so called uh, well experimental experimental cinema, you know, uh, this kind of this kind of art which was supposed to be no more cinema, like Zika Verka, for instance, you know. Well, this kind of art well, that was supposed to be artistic cinema, you know, and you know that at the very beginning of the 20th century, there was this, uh, this society in France from, for, for art cinema. Art cinema meaning that you, that, that you are, you know, actors from the Comédie Française, you know, and that they play, that they play you know, in front of the camera. And well, and, and there are the, the, kind of, the, the kind of art practice, the practice by Griffith, the, the kind of art practice by, Mo, by Monao, there are, there are, there are, well, so I think, for instance, if you think in, uh, for, about montage, you know, if you think of, uh, about, about montage, you know, well, montage, montage really has meant a lot of, uh, a lot of very, of very different, of, of very different things, you know. Well, uh, you know, uh, you know, so I would say from, from the, really from the, from the beginning, from the beginning of, 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 of cinema. Well, if you think of, uh, you think, you think of, of time, what well, you can say. Uh, at a moment in uh, there is a moment in cinema when there is this kind of, of distension of time, for instance. But well, it is clear, for instance, that there was a moment when, uh, well, let us say, uh, an artistic operation, you know, in cinema was uh, was an operation of acceleration, you know, 
And another moment when an artistic, an artistic operation, you know, became a form of distension. And of course, well, you can say Berthoff against Rossellini. Berthoff against Rossellini. So there, 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 is a, there is a moment, you know, precisely in which it was you can this kind of distension, dilatation of time, you know, be, become something, become something important. Which means that there is a moment when, uh, well, let's say the literary revolution uh, comes, comes, uh, comes, uh, comes into into cinema. But at the same time, there are so many cinemas you know, happening at the same time. You know, I, will, I remember, you know, well, some, uh, I'm, uh, well uh, I sometimes I remember people, you know, the, well, the, the, same, the, the same year, you know, you, you have uh, well, a, a masterwork by Mizoguchi and a masterwork by Anthony Mann, you know. Well, so, uh, and, uh, and of course, you can construct, you can, you can construct a multiplicity, you know, of, a multiplicity of, of, of paradigms, you know, of, of, of uh, artistic, of art, of, of art in cinema, of what, what is the, op, the specific operation, you know, of the artist in and, and cinema, and it includes precisely, I would say, well, operations that you can that you can put, you know, on the side of montage operation that you can put on the side of, you know, the treatment, the treat, the treatment of time, the treatment of time, you know, the distension, the distension of time, you know, and or or, or different ways of, of 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 also of of deploying of deploying of deploying the space, you know. Well, if you think well, but for instance, the same in the, well, the, the, the same kind of invention, you know, the cinemascope, you know. It could be used, you know, as well. Fantastic! It is a space, uh, the ideal space for, for for the Western, you know, but but the Western did not survive very very very, very long, you know, very, very long to, to 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 the cinemascope, except precisely by by transforming itself, you know, by, by becoming, you know, some kind of, by becoming the kind of Western, you know, of well of well, well of Sergio Leone uh, and, and, and his peer. So in, in a way, you know, there, there was a new space that was uh, that was fit for you know the great uh, the great tradition of Western. But in fact, it destroyed it, you know, because precisely when well, well, when the space you know be, well, became uh, became wider, you know, in a way it, it was it was less and less populated, you know. So so it's, so I think that, well, it is for me what what's uh, what's what's, in, what's interesting, you know, is that in fact the, the same causes you know produce you know opposite effects. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I think we should stop on that note and I would like to invite you all for coffee and tea and some biscuits downstairs uh, while we prepare for the major talk that we will be starting at six o'clock uh, with the launch of the centre followed by uh, Professor Rancière's talk. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.